Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be using the chamfering operation to do these chamfers on the model. We will be picking up this tutorial where we left off on the last one, which was 2D contouring. NC makes it very easy to do chamfering operations. Let's go to our machining tab. Now we are going to add an operation. So let's click on the down arrow and go over to Rest Machining. Under Rest Machining, let's pick Chamfering. Now NC automatically looked at the tool library we have been using and picked the 12 millimeter spot chamfer as it was the most appropriate tool to use. Let's go down and pick Job Assignment. There are a few different ways you can pick the chamfer. There's add a sharp edge, add a face, or recognize. We are going to add faces. So I'm going to go and touch the face until it highlights of this chamfer and double click it. That picks the entire chamfer surface. Now I'm gonna hold control, come up to the other chamfer surface and double click. Now that I have these picked, I'm going to come over and click Add a Face. And you can see the path that gets generated. Now I'm going to go down to my Speeds and Feeds. Even though when we made this tool, back in the Tool Library tutorial, we gave it a Speed and Feed preference, that was more for spotting than for chamfering. So we are going to increase our 400 millimeters a minute to 1500 millimeters a minute. Now let's click play and generate the toolpath. There you can see where it enters and exits. Let's go ahead and check out the simulation. I'm going to click play and stop. Notice how NC makes sure that the chamfer gets done right in the middle of the tool instead of putting the point on the chamfer. That makes a very nice chamfer. Let's continue. Now that sure was easy. Now let's say there is an area on the model that you wish to chamfer that is not part of the actual 3D model. Let's go back to our machining tab. I'm going to select this edge by double clicking on it, holding control and then selecting that edge by double clicking on it and I'm going to come over to Job Assignment and click Add a Sharp Edge. Now I'm going to regenerate the toolpath and go into our simulation and see how that looks. Now you will see there is a red check mark on this operation. Because the model does not have chamfers in that area, NC is going to interpret that you're hurting your model. And if you hurt your model during a machining operation, you will get a red check mark. However, we know that we are asking it to do this, so let's hit play and see what we get. We do get a very slight chamfer on those edges. Let's see if we can increase the amount of chamfer. Let's go back to the machining tab, come down and select our strategy, and in chamfer depth, let's change that 0.5 value to 1.25. 
and regenerate our path. Let's look at the simulation now. That does look like a much nicer sized chamfer. So this tutorial has been using the chamfering operation to chamfer this model. Our next tutorial will be on generating text and engraving it. Remember, all the 3D models used in these tutorials will be available in a link in the description. Thank you.